once you are in your seat, allow your arms to relax. Let the hands rest in your lap and feel the shoulder blades draw down away from the ears. Gently close your eyes. And just start to notice the sounds around you in your environment. Turn your focus and attention inward and start to notice the sensations in your body. Acknowledge your physical energy level tonight and any areas in the body that you need to be mindful of or pay attention to in certain types of postures. yourself what your body needs from a gentle practice tonight. Start to notice where your spine is in space and if you're leaning a little forward or back of the hips or more to one side than the other, just subtly adjust start to lengthen upward through the spine, gently engaging the muscles in the lower back and the lower abdominals, feeling that energy rise from the base of the tailbone all the way up the spine and out the crown of the head. And start to notice the movement of your own breath. Just watch where your body expands and contracts. Start to purposefully slow down and deepen your breath cycle. five more steady breaths here. And after those five breaths, you can gently float your eyes open. Let's inhale, open the arms, raise them over your head, reaching up toward the ceiling. You can lift your head up toward your thumbs, engaging more now up through the middle and upper back. One more deep breath in. Exhale, slowly float the arms open. Good, reach the arms behind the back and clasp the fingers together. Roll your shoulders and elbows as close together as you can. And if you can't straighten the arms, that's fine. Just work the shoulders and elbows. If it's comfortable to straighten the arms, gradually extend your elbows and reach your fist away from the hips. Breathe into the opening across your chest. And the next time you exhale, let that go. Good, uncross your legs and sit directly on the floor if you had some support underneath you. Take your hands behind your back to support your upper body and bend your knees, separate your feet about as wide as your yoga mat and start to drop the knees back and forth like windshield wipers. 
And the next time your knees drop to the right side of your mat, let them stay down there. Come off of your left hand and twist to the back of your mat. Space your palms about shoulder width apart and press against the floor to rotate the spine. Good, keep your right hand pressed against the mat. Inhale, sweep your left arm up and then turn your ribcage and chest toward the ceiling. Leaning back slightly, pushing strongly down against the right palm. One more breath in. Exhale, take that hand down, returning to the twist, and then unwind. Good, take both hands behind you, pick the knees up and drop them to the left side of your mat, and then twist, come off of your right hand, spin to the back of the mat, space the palms and push the floor to rotate more. Nice, full, deep breath. Then keep your left hand on the mat, inhale, sweep the right arm up, and then lean back as you turn your chest up toward the ceiling. Good, push really strongly down against your left palm. And exhale, take the right hand back to the mat, finding a twist, and then unwind. Good, from here let's come into table pose. Come forward on your mat, step the knees back. Let's take a few rounds of spinal waves. On an inhalation, lift your tailbone, chest, and chin. Exhale. Tuck the tailbone and chin as you round your back. Again, inhaling and exhaling. Continue through both directions at the speed of your own breath. You can also feel free to add other directions of movement, like side to side or more circular pattern in the hips and shoulders. And then return to a neutral table pose. Let's step the right foot in between the hands. Find a low lunge position. Glide your left knee a little farther back, getting the hips down toward the mat. Good, on an inhalation breath, reach the arms up, find your low crescent lunge. Lifting up through the spine, up through the chest, The next time you exhale, put your left hand on the floor, right arm stays up, spinal twist. One more breath in, and exhale, right hand to the mat. Send your hips back and straighten the light right leg for a runner stretch or a half split. You can walk your hands or feel free to use blocks back a little bit and lift the toes of the right foot up off the mat and press that heel against the floor. Good, the next time you exhale, return to the low lunge. So we're gonna come through that sequence with one breath, one movement. On an inhalation, rise up, low crescent lunge. Exhale, left hand to the floor, spinal twist. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, right hand to the floor. Inhale, send your hips back, runner stretch. Exhale, return to the low lunge. Once more, inhale, rise up, low crescent lunge. Exhale, left hand down, spinal twist. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, right hand to the floor. Inhale, rock the hips back and straighten the right leg. Exhale, Inhale and return to the lunge. Good. From here, lift your back knee up off of the ground so that you're in a high lunge. Plant your palms and step to plank pose. Bring the feet and legs together and line your shoulders up over the wrists. Let's hold for five slow, deep breaths here. Nice and strong in the core, actively pushing against the heels of the palms and through every knuckle in your hands. The next time you exhale, bring the knees to the floor, bend the elbows, lower the rest of your body down. 
point the toes and squeeze your shoulders back. Let's inhale, roll up to low or high cobra. Exhale, let it go, head to the floor. Again, inhale, rolling up, and exhale, release. Once again, inhale, lift, cobra. Exhale, let it go. And from here, press back up to the knees, and we'll step the left foot in between the hands. Low lunge. Slide your right knee farther back, and feel your hips release down toward the ground. I am inhalation, rise up, lift the arms up over the shoulders, find balance here in low crescent lunge. Good, upward energy through the spine. The next time you exhale, take your right hand to the floor, spinal twist. Really push down against that palm and rotate from your belly button all the way up the spine. One more breath in, exhale, left hand down. Good, send your hips back in space and try and straighten the left leg. You can move your hands or blocks back as well for our half split or runner stretch. Same pose, two of your knees. And the next time you exhale, come back to that low lunge. Now we're going to flow through that two times with the breath. Inhale, reach up, low crescent lunge. Exhale, right hand down, spinal twist. Inhale deeply, exhale, left hand down. Inhale, rock back, straighten the left leg. Exhale, come back to your lunge. Once more, inhale, rise up, exhale, spinal twist, right hand down. Inhale here, exhale, left hand down. Inhale, hips back, straighten the left leg. Exhale, return to the lunge. Good, let's lift the back knee up and plant the palms, step to plank pose. <clears throat> Feet and legs together, shoulders over your wrists. Five deep breaths. The next time you exhale, bring your knees to the floor, then the rest of your body. Point the toes, squeeze your shoulders back. Inhale, rise up to cobra. Exhale, let it go. Tuck your toes, inhale, push up to the knees. Exhale, your hips back, and then up for full down dog. Separate your feet a few inches apart, spread the fingers widely, and press back. Let your neck Release, drop the head. Nice, steady breath here. Take one more breath in and look forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale to a flat back position. Exhale and fold over your legs. Twice more. Inhale, extend your spine. Exhale, forward bend. Once again, inhale nice and long. Exhale, let it go. Good. Let your arms and shoulders hang down. Release your neck. Take five breaths here. Feeling your hamstrings lengthen and your spine release. And on your next breath in, open your arms, come all the way up to stand, reaching over your head. Exhale, release the arms to your sides. So come to the very top of your mat. We're going to take a few rounds of slow sun salutations. 
on an inhalation, reach up. Exhale, lower bend. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, walk to plank. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and lower all the way to the floor. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, head to the ground. Inhale, push up to your knees. Exhale, the hips back and then up for downward facing dog. Adjust your feet and hands if you need to. And then press against the palms, find that length through the arms and spine. One more breath in, look forward. Exhale, feet to the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach all the way up, coming to stand. Exhale, release. Two more rounds. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, walk back to plank pose. Deep breath in. Exhale, lower to the ground. Point your toes. Inhale, rise up to cobra. Exhale, put the head down. Inhale, push up to the knees. Exhale, hips back and lift to downward facing dog. So let your neck be relaxed. And find one focal point to concentrate on. The next time you inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the front. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, lower bend. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Exhale, release your arms. Once more through. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale deeply. Exhale, lower to the floor. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, push up. Exhale, lift back. Downward facing dog. Steady, slow breath. One more breath in, look forward, exhale, feet to the hands, inhale, flat back, exhale, forward fold, inhale, reach all the way up overhead, exhale, arms to your sides, stand to your mountain pose for a few breaths, you can close your eyes or keep them open, whatever you prefer, just notice how you feel in your body. Try and slow down your breathing. Good. Once the breath feels calm and relaxed again, you can close the eyes open. And we're going to take a standing balancing sequence. So if you'd like to move yourself closer to a wall, feel free to do that. We're going to start by standing on the left leg. So just feel every muscle in that leg and around the hip and glute get very active. Bend your right knee up toward your chest and reach forward to clasp in front of the shin. And draw that knee in toward your body as you try and stand even taller, balancing on the left leg. So we're gonna keep the right knee here. Inhale, reach the arms up, balancing in crane pose.
Good, bring the palms together in front of your heart. Turn your right knee out to the side and place that foot against the lower calf muscle or reach down and help place the foot against the inner thigh for tree pose. Stay strong and active in your standing leg, every muscle contracting. You're gently pressing the right foot against that contraction. Take one more deep breath in, and exhale, release the pose. Good, standing on the right leg. Feel every muscle get active in the thigh, hip, and glute. Lift your left knee up to your face, reach forward and clasp in front of the shin or the knee, and bring it toward you as you stand even taller. You feel your lower back draw in and your chest lift up. Good, nice steady breath. We're gonna keep the knee here, so keep it as high as you can. Inhale, raise the arms, extending the upper body, balancing in crane pose. Good, exhale the palms together in front of your heart. Turn your left knee out to the side and put the foot at the calf muscle or reach down and help bring it to the inner right thigh. Good, finding balance here in tree pose. Press the foot against the leg and contract the muscles of the right leg back against the foot. Couple more breaths. One more breath in, and exhale, release. Beautiful, everybody. Just alternate, rocking the hips a little side to side, bending each knee a few times to release the legs. Good, let's separate the feet about as wide as a warrior two pose. Turn the heels out slightly and the big toes in, and bring your hands to your waist. Glide your shoulders and elbows back. We're gonna take a deep breath in and lift the chest. Exhale, send the hips back and fold the upper body forward. Wide leg forward bend. Let your head drop and take your hands to the floor in between the feet. Or if they don't reach the mat, you can grab blocks and put the hands on blocks. Let your neck release and stay strong and active in the legs. Take five more breaths here in this fold. And on the next breath in, lift your head and chest. Walk your hands or blocks forward and find the flat back position. Take your left hand under your face and inhale, raise the right arm, spinal twist. If reaching up is too much for the shoulder, you can bring that hand to your waist instead. And just checking with your left hip, if it dropped a lot like this, kind of sinking into it, just try and send it up and back so that your sacrum is parallel to the floor. Make sure you're twisting from your core and not by tilting your pelvis. Good. The next time you exhale, take your right hand to the floor, lengthen your spine, feel that flat back position, and then other side. Raise the left arm, spinal twist. Checking with your right hip, make sure you didn't let it drop or collapse. Then one more breath in and exhale, release. Then look over at your front foot, whichever one was toward the front of your mat. Point it forward and walk your hands to the front. End up in a lunge. So for me, that's with my right foot forward, left foot back. Let's bring the back knee down to the floor and take both arms inside of the front leg. You can move that foot over maybe an inch or two and turn it out at a slight angle and let that knee fall out to the side. 
but it can be on your hands or fists if you like, or you can bring your elbows down to blocks or the floor. And let's just do a little rocking side to side with the hips. Sometimes a little movement here in this pose can really help to free up any tightness in the outer hip on the right side here. motion stop. Let's move the foot over even wider so that you can plant your palms shoulder width apart. Lift your back knee up and then strong core step your front foot back and find plank pose. Take a deep breath in here in plank. Exhale lower all the way to the ground. Point your toes. Inhale rise up to cobra pose. Exhale and let it go. Inhale push up to your knees. Exhale the hips back and up for downward facing dog. And let your head and neck drop. And then whichever side you didn't already do, let's step that foot forward. So for me, that's the left. I'm going to step that foot in between the hands for my lunge and bring the back knee to the mat. Good. Both arms inside of the front foot. Move it over about an inch or two and turn it out. And then let the knee thigh fall away from your shoulder. Good. Start that rocking motion side to side in the hips, keeping the breath smooth and steady. And then you can let the motion stop. Move that foot out a little bit wider. Plant your palms shoulder width apart. Lift the back knee. And then strong core. Exhale. Step to plank. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Lower to the floor. Point the toes. Inhale. Up to cobra pose. Exhale. Let it go. Inhale. Push up to the knees. Exhale, hips back and up, downward facing dog. Separate the feet a few inches apart and press strongly against your palms. Let's take five deep breaths. After those five breaths, bring your knees to the floor. Take them a little wider than your hips. Point the toes and sit back into child's pose. Let your forehead rest down on the floor or a block and close the eyes. And then let your shoulders and arms relax. Take a few breaths here and just notice how the body feels at this point. And we're going to start to transition from more movement and flowing based practice to some more long held restorative poses right now. And even though those postures don't require as much dynamic energy in the body, still want you to feel dynamic energy in your breath. So when we're holding a pose for a minute or more, you're breathing just as deeply and smoothly as you were when you're moving. plus or minus things 
Make it as comfortable as you'd like. So I'm sitting on my blanket. I'm going to take the bolster and put it on top of my legs. And then I'm going to grab one of my blocks and have that at the end of my bolster ready to support my forehead. And I'm going to bring the bolster kind of right up into my abdomen. I'm going to hold it kind of like I would hold a strap around the feet to help me lift up really tall in the low back and then start to come forward and let my rib cage and chest settle on the bolster and then let my forehead settle on the block. And then I'm just letting my arms just kind of relax out in front of me resting on the top of the bolster. If this does not feel comfortable for you or you have any discomfort in your lower back, then I wouldn't do this with the bolster on top of the legs. I might bend the knees and put the bolster underneath the legs instead. Once you've kind of settled and set up your support so that you don't feel like you're really doing anything at all to stay here, no physical effort, then close your eyes and just concentrate on breathing slowly and deeply. And if thoughts come, just kind of recognize them and watch them as if from a distance. Just let them pass through, always returning your focus to the breath. Take five more slow breaths here. those five breaths. Drag your hands back a little closer to your upper body and then slowly lift yourself up away from the bolster. Good. Just sit up nice and tall. You can put the block and the bolster down off your legs for a moment. Take your hands to either side of your hips on the floor. Just press against the floor and lift your spine nice and tall. This next restorative fold, I'm just going to turn to face the screen so you can see me a little better. We're going to do a wide-legged restorative fold. So the setup is similar. I'm going to sit up on my blanket. I'm going to throw the bolster in front of me. And I'm going to use a block underneath the bolster to prop it up toward me. So it's going to go on the far end and lift the bolster up. I do have a second block if you need that to put under your forehead if your face doesn't reach the bolster. So let's take the legs wide apart. Open the legs, find your kind of near max range of motion, and point up through the toes, press down through the back of the thighs, and just start sitting up nice and tall. And as in the previous fold, bring the bolster as close to your body as you can. So I've got it right up against the front of my hips, and I'm just kind of holding onto it, lifting tall through the spine. And if you don't have any of these props, you can just do this as the regular pose without the support. So to come forward, I'm going to pull against the bolster, gently guide my upper body toward it. 
And if you get far enough down to settle your head on it, you can turn it to one side and then kind of relax your arms down wherever is comfortable. If there's a big space there, you can fill it with some other support. If you've got other blankets or whatever, you can put it on top of your bolster to fill that space. Or you can use a second block if you have it and just let your forehead rest down. Okay? So take your time setting this one up modifying for whatever you have in your own space. And then once you're settled in the pose, again, gently close your eyes. Just kind of scan through your body and check in if there's any part of you that could do less right now. Is there any effort that you don't need that you could really give up to the support of the bolster instead? If you have your head turned to one side, maybe change it to the other side to keep things balanced in the neck. And we'll take several more breaths here. Feel your own breath. 
Notice the sensations in your body. When you're ready to come out of this one, drag your hands back so they're underneath your shoulders. Push the floor and lift your abdomen up off of the bolster. Good. Turn yourself around so that you're sitting down on your left hip with your knees and feet folded to the right side. Stack together. And sit up nice and tall and then twist your belly to face your bolster and put one hand on either side of it on the floor. Push the ground to help you deepen that rotation, just like the twist we did at the beginning of class. And then lower yourself down onto the bolster. Walk your arms forward. Let your abdomen come down to rest on it. And turn your head to whichever side is the most comfortable here. And then slide your arms forward a little. Let your shoulders relax. Five more breaths here. And after those five breaths, drag your hands underneath your shoulders. Push against the mat to lift up off the bolster and turn yourself around so that your back faces your bolster. We're going to keep it propped up the way it is with that block on the end of the bolster. You're sitting on the floor now with your back to the bolster. Slide your hips back so they just about touch the edge of the bolster. And then let's bring the soles of the feet together and open the knees out to the side. And we're going to come to supported or restorative recline down angle pose. Take your hands behind you and carefully lower your spine down onto the support of the bolster. And then once you're down, you might need to adjust a little bit so that the base of the bolster really comfortably supports your lumbar arch. And if the hips feel tight in this pose, you can grab your block or a folded blanket or combination and support the outer thighs. And again, if you don't have a bolster at home, use whatever you've got or you can do this pose just flat on your back. Let's let the arms relax down by your sides, palms facing up. Feel nice and heavy through the shoulders, letting them sink down. Gently close your eyes. And bring your awareness to the lower half of your body. And just notice if there's any holding or active energy in the muscles around the hips, the thighs, or the knees. And if so, just gradually let that soften so that the legs are totally relaxed in this shape. And then return your attention to the rise and fall of your breath. Slow and steady.
Take five more deep breaths here. After those five breaths, gently bring your knees back together. Good. From here, carefully roll down to one side of your body, sliding off the bolster to the ground, and curl up on your side in a fetal pose for a moment. Hug the knees in, which is going to help bring that lumbar curve back to a more neutral position. And then from here, float the eyes open, press against the mat, and lift yourself upright. Okay, we're going to take one more restorative posture, and you're going to need to be near a wall for this one. If you don't have a wall, you could use the back of your couch or uh, the back of the chair if you'd like. I'm just going to rotate my mat. I'm going to do legs up the wall with a hip opening variation. And you can do this with or without support underneath your low back. So that support could either be a folded blanket or a bolster. All right, and if you remember from last week, the easiest way to get into this pose is to come into a fetal pose on your side as close to the wall as possible. So really try and get your butt to touch the wall and then swing your legs up and roll your back. And then from there, you can kind of just shimmy so that you're on your yoga mat if you swung off of it and adjust your alignment so that the hips feel aligned below the shoulders. And so just pause and check in. Once your legs are up, if the hamstrings are feeling really tight or your hips are not fully down on the ground, just slide yourself back a little bit. But starting with the legs or the hips close is a good baseline. And then if you want the low back support, you can grab your bolster or your blanket Bend your knees and lift your hips up off the ground and slide that support underneath you so that it supports your lumbar arch and the back of your hips. And then let your legs re-extend up the wall. So let's open the arms out to the sides. Let the shoulders sink down. And once you feel settled, gently close the eyes if you haven't already. We're going to start with a hip opening, so gradually separate the heels and let the legs open as widely apart as they can go. But let the legs be in a relaxed state. So unlike our more active hamstring and hip stretching postures, I don't want you to squeeze your quads or your hip flexors right now. So let your thighs be completely relaxed. And breathe nice and low into the body. Let your inhalation expand your abdomen before it expands the ribcage. From here, let's slowly bring the legs back together and let the heels just rest against the wall. Again, legs are relaxed.
you are really comfortable with your legs up the wall and you'd like to stay here for a few more minutes, you are welcome to be here during the final relaxation. If you prefer to come out and return to your back, whenever you're ready, you can bend your knees down toward your chest and then slowly bring the knees down to the floor, coming down to your side, curling up into a fetal pose. And then just press yourself up and transition to Shavasana with as little extra effort as possible. So just get rid of your prop if you were using it and carefully come down to your back. Once you are down on your back, if you decided to move, let your arms relax down by your sides and close your eyes again. And let's all take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. Feel your lower jaw release and relax through the tongue and the throat. And let your natural breath quality return again, letting go of the deep breathing practice. Let your whole body rest. Slowly bring your attention back to the surface and lengthen your breath. And in your own time, begin to move through the fingers and the toes, just starting to wake up your body. And with as little effort as possible, Bend your knees and roll over to a fetal pose. And take a moment to pause there and notice how you feel. And then whenever you're ready, come upright to any comfortable seat, keeping the eyes still closed.
once you are sitting, feel your spine lift and lengthen, opening across the chest and continuing to breathe deeply. Bring the palms together in front of your heart, letting the thumbs rest at the sternum. And we'll end our practice chanting OM one time. Take a deep breath in.